You've probably put some yeast into some wine, meat, or beer before, right? Did you know that it's in there? Having conversations? Yeast cells use what's called quorum sensing to communicate with each other. It's essentially chemical signals that tell the yeast how to act as a group. And these signals help the yeast coordinate with each other when it comes to sugar consumption and ethanol production. And it's true, if you watch a line graph of active fermentation, oftentimes it follows a very similar pattern where there's a steep drop off and then a leveling off before fermentation ends. And this is because the yeast all work in very similar ways and communicate using these signals. And when all the sugar's gone, the work is done. All those yeast signal to each other that it's time to go dormant and wait for the next big meal. And there are even some strains that we call killer strains. Yeah, they are assassin yeasts that will go after yeasts that are not from their own strain. We are talking single-celled organisms, a fungus that works like a tiny army. So when you're making wine, mead, beer, or cider, it's not just fermentation, it's fermenticum fermentic fermentic communicate fermentic fermentication it's fermentication <laughs>